Welcome back. Abby Peel is my name and today's Yankee Chronicle is the game. But a real game in town right now is one of the most unique collections of memorabilia from the past. Hi Pete, tell us more. So the Ice House Museum is a collection that was collected by William F. Kidder um, of automobiles, antique automobiles, memorabilia, antique automobilia, and all sorts of antique things that were uh, his collection and people had dropped off uh, as he was starting to collect them in New London. Uh, originally it was an ice house and he ended up uh, changing it from an ice house into a place where he could tinker and uh, collect uh, all of the items that are here in the ice house today, which is quite a eclectic collection. All right, the history of this ice house is that originally the Kidders, uh, Bill Kidder's dad, started a garage in New London at the center of town in about 1910 and then became a Ford dealer and sold Ford cars up through, right up through, I think it was the 1980 before they had closed the garage. And there was an oil business as well, heating oil. Um, so the, the history was from there to Bill went off to, William F. Kidder went off to war and, and through the Second World War and then came back and then worked in the garage. His dad turned it over to him and in the oil business and the ice house uh, was an ice house to store ice during the winter. Um, and it was called the Shepherd's Ice House because they had a stable and they ended up uh, hauling ice off the lakes in New London to here and right behind the ice house there was a uh, pond that they would uh, store the ice for refrigeration which was one of the largest uh, industries in the state at that time. So then once the refrigeration and the ice went by the wayside uh, Bill ended up acquiring the ice house and started using it as a place to tinker on his cars uh, and then started collecting and restoring all of the toys and all of the uh, cars that are here today. There's quite a, a variety of things here, uh, all, all from uh, early Model T Fords up through uh, earlier than that, uh, early Fords before Model T, and um, parts and Part of the collection is due to a Ford garage which his dad started in the early 1900s. And so there are all, all sorts of parts and parts bins here and new parts that have never been used. Um, and all the way from uh, antique car parts to uh, a barber shop uh, uh, chair. And also, uh, their, their collection of antique toys, uh, pedal cars, a uh, huge collection of toys like that, and adult toys that you can ride around on as well. This museum is really a hands-on museum. Um, and you really have to come to, to see what it is all about. It's very unusual compared to most museums. My dad moved here in 1945 and Bill was at, uh, at war in Europe and he went to the garage where his dad was owning it and running it at the time and ended up, uh, my dad saw one of the 1911 Ford Model T's that Bill had and ended up saying, boy, I got to meet this guy. And they had a long lifetime relationship, probably one of the best friends that my dad ever had and uh, I got into the automobile business because of it and uh, was around it. So it's been a great, great life for me as well. So. so we're in New London, New Hampshire. We're on Pleasant Street. Uh, hours are from nine to two on Saturday and Tuesdays and Thursdays, nine to four. And if you'd like to find more information on this, you can go to the uh, William F. Kidder uh, WFK uh, website. We would love to see you. Uh, a lot of people that have lived here for years 
come in and they say they wish they had been here before, they never realized what quite a collection there is here. And we're all very, very lucky that Mr. Kidder had collected it and that the family has preserved this collection and now it's here. Thanks Pete and thank you to the Kidder family and all the volunteers that make the Ice House Museum a must visit place in our region. Don't miss our game of the week, great saves from the past. This week YCN will feature a 2018 football clash between Hanover and Plymouth. All our games replay at 12 noon and 5 p.m. on Sundays and Mondays on WYCX. And we're gearing up for live football this fall, featuring Kearsarge, Lebanon, Hawkington, and many other local schools. Check out other outside television programs of original shows featuring the most exciting extreme sports from rock climbing, biking, water sports, and of course, skiing. I'm Abby Peel. Join us again next week at this same time from Bubba's Bar and Grill for another edition of Yankee Chronicle. Stay safe, everyone.